during their virtual meetings is not being able to see the participants in the meeting room while they're presenting. So today I'm going to show you some things you can do. This is without using any Chrome extension. The first device that you can use is a Chromecast. If you already have your Chromecast installed, you are set and ready to go. If you have not set up your Chromecast, you would have to go to chromecast.com slash setup and follow the instructions. Once you have followed the instructions for setting up your Chromecast, what you would do is if you don't have the Chromecast icon, you would just go to settings on the upper right hand corner of your browser and click on the on cast. So then it gives you the option of casting to whatever room you need it to. In order to keep this icon displayed so that you can easily cast your screen, you can right click and click on always show icon. That way your cast icon is always there. When you're ready to cast, you would just click on your cast tab Choose where you want to cast your object, and you have the option of casting a tab, casting your desktop, or casting a file. What you can do is cast your meeting room onto your TV monitor, and then with another tab, you can present your screen. To uncast or change the tab, all you would do is click on the tab you want to cast and cast your new tab. The next thing you can use is an Apple TV. So an Apple TV sort of works the same way as the Chromecast. You can choose to cast your screen or you can use the Apple TV as a separate display. So if you wanted to mirror what it is on your screen, you would click on mirror built-in display. You want to be able to see your presentation and your meeting room at the same time. You should click on use as a separate display. When you click on this option, what happens is this will extend your computer monitor. Next thing you can use is a projector. So if you happen to not have a Chromecast or an Apple TV, but you happen to have a projector, say you have a projector in the classroom, what you can do is connect your projector to your computer. So we want to be able to see our participants and our presentation at the same time, so we would choose the, to extend our monitor. To do that, where you would go is you would go to Preferences, your System Preferences, and you would click on Displays. When your projector is plugged into your computer, you have this Arrangement Choice option. If you have not done this before, what automatically shows is it will mirror displays. What you want to do when you go to arrangement is you want to unclick that. What happens is now your projector acts as an extension of your computer. What you would do is once your computer screen has been extended either by the Apple TV or your projector, you just take whatever tab or window you'd like to be extended, and you just drag it to the direction of where your extended screen is. So the last thing you can do uh, if you have none of those devices and you happen to have a MacBook, you can use the MacBook's uh, built-in settings to split your screen. So how you would split your screen is you will have two tabs, Make sure you separate the tabs. Click on the green button, the arrows will show. All you need to do is hold down that button. When you hold down that button, it automatically splits your screen. 
So the tab that I chose to split the screen for is split. If I want to choose the other tab, all I do is click it and it will split the screen. You can present your screen on one side and you can view your participants on the other side. What's nice about the split screen feature is that you can use your cursor to move the screen left and right. To get out of the split screen mode, all you have to do is click on top and press the green again and you are out of split screen mode. And in this way, you can actually use all of these methods all at one time if you want it to, have, to be able to view more screens. And that's how you would be able to view your participants in your virtual meetings while presenting without using Chrome extensions. And that's it. Thank you.